Welcome to our Judd Haven project. The team at Kelly Project Management have been quite busy and we're going to show you around today. I'm at the entrance to our project right here. We're going to have a big overhang coming over uh, to cover the entrance here. Um, and then you can see to my left here we have a, a deep window well which is where the stairs are going to go into the basement. Uh, we did this to allow a lot of natural light to flood the basement. Here's the entrance to our project. We're going from an eight foot overhang here all the way to a 16 foot ceiling in here. This front room right here, this is the entrance. Um, we have again the stairs going down to the basement and then um, it kind of opens up into the living room. So this is the living room. So we're gonna have a big fireplace here um, and then uh, we have our view out to the lake there. This is the kitchen and dining room. We raised the beam right here over this door up into the trusses and so we actually have a full 10 foot door in this dining room. The dining room table will be right here and then the kitchen will be along that back wall and we did a similar thing with the back wall. We actually raised the beam again up into the trusses and uh, we have big six foot tall windows opening up into our kitchen here. Over on this side uh, we have a massive pocketing door that's as well 10 feet tall and it's gonna open up the dining room and living room into this screen porch area. Um, this is essentially a four season room. It's not necessarily a screen porch. Um, so, so the client's gonna be able to use this room all year round. Um, and both of the dining room and the screen porch open up onto this deck. Um, we've done something a little bit differently here. Uh, again, it's, uh, we're doing a Douglas fir deck beams and joists. So with, the, with this Douglas fir deck, we've actually done the deck joists at 32 inch on centers and we, we made a much bigger beam. And so, you know, by, it, it's obviously a little bit more cost for the lumber, but it, uh, it, it looks better underneath and uh, we don't have to do as many joists because uh, the beams are bigger. So one of the interesting features that we utilize architecturally with this project is we extended the overhangs over all the openings. So, um, this big overhang over, over top of this 10 foot door is actually four feet, six inches, I believe. So with this project, we have a hierarchy of overhangs. So the big, the big 10 foot door has a four foot six, and then the smaller doors and windows all have three foot. And then the main overhang on the building is uh, a foot. So you can see here, uh, another example. So every, everywhere that there's a window, the overhang actually projects a little bit farther. And where there's just a wall, the overhang kind of goes back in. Welcome to the master bedroom of our Judd Haven project. Uh, one of the main features of this project is the incredible view we have out this front window looking at beautiful Lake Rosso. So behind me here, part of the master suite, we have a office that's built into the master suite. Um, in this back corner over here um, behind me, we have a, the master closet. And then behind me here is the master bathroom. So we're on the lake side of our Judd Haven project. We obviously have beautiful Lake Rosso on my right side. Um, on the front, you can see the, the two-story um, glass um, in the main living room, as well as the glass in the basement. Along this whole front side here, um, above all these bedrooms, we actually are gonna have an overhang, kind of mimicking what's above, um, just to provide a little bit of extra shading to these lower bedrooms. So we're down in the basement of our Judd Haven project and we have our window well here. And you can see already, uh, there's tons of light flooding into this basement area and it, it does not feel like a basement as well at all. And on the lake side, we obviously have more windows, um, you know, letting more light in and obviously that wonderful view of Lake Rosso. So one of the uh, things we try to do on most of our projects is we actually use these open web joists by Triforce. Uh, it's a really nice product because they're finger jointed, um, so there's no way electrical wires or anything could catch on them, but it allows us to easily run mechanical and electrical through um, all the cavity spaces. So we, we try to use that as a standard for most of our projects and it's definitely going to help out with this one. So we're, we're down in our bedroom wing here. Um, so we have three bedrooms down here. We have uh, a Jack and Jill bathroom in between them and then down on the end um, we have kind of a second master so it's got its own ensuite um, and walk-in closet. And behind me here we have the mechanical room and then we have the a secondary laundry room. 
So we're down on the other side of the building. We have a secondary mechanical room here. So this allows us to split some of the equipment between both sides of the house and reduce sizing. Uh, we have another bedroom here. And then back over here to my left, we have a, a kind of sports bathroom. We have its own toilet room and own shower room. So it's kind of a multi-function bathroom. Um, and then, and this, this last part over here is our gym. And I think arguably the gym has probably one of the coolest views in this whole project. Finish off today's tour, we're gonna end at the front of the building, the lakeside of the building. Uh, you can see all the expanse of glass that faces beautiful Lake Rosso. We'll hopefully be back with some more tours of this project as uh, the team at Kelly Project Management uh, continues on building this project.